It's Tuesday, September 28th. I'm Allie Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Detroit police are searching for a man who they say jumped out of bushes and sexually assaulted a 13-year-old girl walking home from school. Police tell us it happened about a week ago on the city's east side near the Jefferson Chalmers neighborhood. Investigators say the girl was walking home from Karsten's Elementary Middle School when the man dragged her on to the porch of an abandoned home. Her tablet went off and scared the attacker away. Four firefighters ended up in a crash while responding to a call. Today, they're recovering from non-life-threatening injuries. Their fire truck collided with a car last night and careened into a home. It happened on McClellan Street on the city's east side. A fire captain was thrown from the truck, and rescuers pulled a 50-year-old woman from the car. When we last checked, she was in critical condition. Ford Motor Company is making a huge investment into electric vehicles. The company plans to build two massive high-tech campuses in Stanton, Tennessee and Glendale, Kentucky. Ford treated a rendering of Blue Oval City in Tennessee where it plans to make the next generation of electric F-Series pickups and advanced batteries. Ford is also teaming up with SK Innovation for the Blue Oval SK Battery Park in Kentucky. Two plants there will power up the lineup for the Ford and Lincoln EVs. The bottom line is $11.4 billion and nearly 11,000 new jobs. Well, temperatures throughout the rest of the week pretty close to average, maybe slightly above today and tomorrow. But the key for our forecast this week is how dry it's going to be. Sunshine, dry weather stretches through Saturday. There is a chance for rain by Sunday.